but the difference is is you it's treated like a spear where you can jab things but then you can also use it as a projectile you can throw it as well but then you're out of a s weapon so I don't see why you would want to do that What's going on guys, this is Dig Films coming at you with another episode of Conan Exiles, except for this video is more of a tutorial series. Um, I'm going to be going over some of the tools and some of the weapons and what's better and depending on your situation and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get to it. So um, the ba very basic pickaxe which you can make from pretty much the very beginning is a stone pickaxe and usually on normal servers it will give you three maybe four as you can see down here in the bottom right uh, stone per hit or whatever and then you can also use it on these little gray rocks which is how you get iron sometimes you get iron there's two there's one yep you get either one or two iron with a stone pickaxe but if you use an iron pickaxe which is this one right here you get six or seven so you basically double it almost double it and then seven six and seven uh, iron iron on that as well so it's about even for the stone and iron when you're using an iron pickaxe and then there's the steel pickaxe and that gives you let's see 10 stone yeah about 10 or 11 stone which again is almost not quite double and then also 10 and 11 on the iron as well. And I gained a level from doing that. So that's the pickaxe. The next thing I will show you is the hatchet. Um, now I'm in my single player world, so I've uh, messed around with the admin settings and been able to um, boost up my speed. But uh, let me go down here to where there's a couple of trees here. There we go. You don't usually move this fast in the game. So, so yeah, so that will give you three sometimes four pieces of wood with a stone hatchet then if you use the iron hatchet again it's six or seven wood with that and then oh, oh, no, that's what I want a steel hatchet will give you ten oh I'm carrying too much drop 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 not using any of that so uh, yeah, there it is. So yeah, so 10 or 11 with a steel hatchet. And then this last item, this is very high level. It's a pickaxe. At least that's what they call it. So you can do both mining and chopping down trees with this tool right here. So I can go up here, start chopping. I can turn around and start hacking at the stone if I wanted to. I can do anything. So that's also made out of steel and that's like the top most best thing in the, in the game as far as tools go so um so yeah and then w let's go ahead and get into the weapons i will be right back as i organize my space here for those weapons and everything so i'll be right back all right guys i'm back to cover with you the weapon side of these uh of this series so right here um i've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory but these are the this is the very basic weapon that you can make from the very beginning. Uh, you get to learn both the stone sword and the stone club at the same time. Uh, they're the first things. Uh, they do, as you can see here, they can do 35 damage each, but the stone club has better armor penetration. So, in my opinion, that does a little bit more damage per swing and stuff like that. Uh, the next thing on the list as you're leveling up, the next weapon that you can learn are the Stone Maul and Stone Pike. Uh, this does, they both do 53 and then obviously the Stone Maul does a whole lot more armor penetration and thus is, in, again, in my opinion, the better weapon. Uh, after that you can learn the Iron Broadsword, which is the first iron weapon that you can get in the game and uh, it does 50 da 50 damage currently that may change in the future um, and then armor penetration of 13 percent uh, after that comes the javelin 
which is a little bit more damage and a little bit more armor penetration. But the difference is, is you it's treated like a spear where you can jab things, but then you can also use it as a projectile. You can throw it as well, but then you're out of a s weapon. So I don't see why you would want to do that. Um, then comes the iron axe, which does 64 damage, but not much armor penetration. So that kind of trades damage for armor penetration there, obviously. Uh, then we've got the Iron Pike, which comes next uh, in the leveling system currently, and that takes away 79 health per damage. It's nice. It's got a pretty good armor penetration of 36%. So that's currently what it comes up to. Um, let me look at these. I had written down the order of what these, uh, how you learn them. All right, so the next th thing that you can learn is this up here, the Stygian Kopesh. And that is 59 damage, which is about a pretty good drop underneath that. It's a 59 damage with a 13% uh, armor penetration. And then after that becomes, where is it? I don't know if I have it on me. Well, luckily we're in single player and we can cheat. Gear. Need the iron mace, iron war hammer. I think we've got one of those, but either way. Alright, so the iron mace does 68 damage with 36% armor piercing, which is not bad for a single handed weapon. Um, let's see, after the Iron Maze comes the Iron Warhammer, which is right there. That does 90 damage. It's a two-handed weapon, I believe. Yes. Let's find that out real quick. Yes, two-handed weapon. There we go. Okay, and then Iron Warhammer. Yeah, so 90 damage with 54% uh, armor piercing, which again ups that damage that you do per hit. Uh, after that comes the Cutlass, which is this nice snazzy little thing right here. Me probably should have done this in the light. So that's the Cutlass, kind of a pirate sword kind of a looking thing. So, uh, so that's that. And then after the Cutlass comes a Stygian Spear. That does 96 damage looks like that. Whoop. So you can attack like that. So yeah. But uh Yeah, so there's that. And then after the spear comes the long sword. But this is your first uh, excuse me. This is the first steel weapon that you can get in the game and it is currently doing 92 damage with a 13% uh, armor penetration on that one. Uh, then comes the Falcata. Let me actually show you what this looks like. There you go. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. So yeah, so that's the steel sword, first steel sword that you get right there. And then after that comes the Falcata, which is this weapon here. pretty cool weapon in my opinion and that does 94 damage which is only two points higher than the actual long sword but uh, but yeah I think it looks cooler so that's kind of a plus on that one uh, after the Falcata comes the steel warhammer which I may not have in my inventory here nope I do not I gotta spawn that one in steel warhammer and a steel mace. I think I had a steel trident, but let's just spot him in just in case. Okay, so yeah, so here's the steel warhammer. That does 126 damage with the 54% armor penetration. So that's pretty good right there. Uh, the next is a steel mace, 107 damage with 36% armor penetration on that. Uh, let me I keep forgetting to do this. So yeah. 
swing that thing around. Oop. I always get those buttons mixed up. Anyway, after that comes the steel mace, which does 107 damage, 36% armor penetration, and that looks like that. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Kind of a star situation on the top there. And what's cool is you can hold it out like this, and you swing, and you hold it, and swing again. So that's another thing about these single-handed weapons is you can do that. You can, I'm pretty sure you can do that with uh, your tools as well. You can s hold it and then swing and then hold it and swing. So that gives, gives you a little bit more damage, I think. Um, after the, uh, let's see, where were we? Oh, yeah, steel mace. After the steel mace, we have the steel trident and very... Poseidon like of a spear so that's uh that's that weapon and then after that comes a really another really cool weapon which is the battle axe the Chimerian battle axe that's pretty nice so there's that and then after the battle axe comes the biggest and best weapon in the whole game uh, as far as damage output, and that is the Ancient Kopesh. There it is. The Ancient Kopesh does 131 damage. I don't know really of any other weapon that does more damage than that, unless the Ancient uh, ancient Warhammer does more than that. Let me... Whoop, gear. Ancient... Ancient Warhammer. I doubt this. See, whoop, where's the Kopesh? Okay, so the Ancient Warhammer looks like it's the best uh, weapon in the game. The only problem is you are swinging a whole lot slower with the Ancient Ancient Warhammer, and it looks pretty much the same as the Steel Warhammer, um, or not the Warhammer. Yeah, the Steel Warhammer, and then. Yeah, so you get, you're trading the slow hits for the more damage and also the more armor penetration. And as you're w running around, it's kind of hard to actually land a hit as you're playing in PvP and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, so after the... Yeah, so after the Ancient Kopesh comes the Ancient Warhammer, which is what I was just swinging around. So that does... Yeah, so the, again, the Ancient Kopesh does 131 damage 164 damage and that's the best weapon in the game uh, if you don't mind swinging slower than everyone else so um, now there are some other ones that um, you have to learn the recipes for and that's I think this one right here it's called the abysmal sword kind of a cool looking sword it's got like this little I think it's a dragon's eye right in the middle there so yeah, so that goes through the different, those are the different swords and hammers and pikes and javelins and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I don't know if they plan on making more weapons and implementing them later. I don't know. Uh, I think they do since the one that I'm carrying now only came out like the past week or two. Um, it hasn't been out for l as long as you might think. So that wasn't an original weapon when the first game first came out in early access, um, what were some of the other ones? Like the Iron Axe here on the bottom right, that wasn't originally there. Um, the Ancient Warhammer wasn't part of it, so there's that. So um, Another thing I actually forgot to mention, as far as the tools go, um, when you are using different things, uh, the only there's different resources you can get that can only be achieved by using different things or when using other things you get more of that so like for example when you are wanting a lot of hide it's best to use a dagger for skinning the animal it will only return hide from the animal um, and the better dagger that you have obviously the more hide you get um, the only way to get bark for when you're tanning that hide into leather the only way to get bark from a tree is with a pickaxe and obviously again better the pickaxe 
more bark, more chances of getting bark, and also the bigger quantities of bark as well. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yeah, and then also when you're trying to get food, the best tool to use is the axe on a on an animal or a person or whatever to be able to get their body parts and meat off of them. So. Uh, I hope that video was helpful for you. Uh, if you're just beginning your adventures here in the world of Conan Exiles, I hope you guys are having fun. And uh, I hope this video helps. I probably said that already. Anyway, um, trying to make sure I got everything covered that I can think of. If you have any other further questions about these weapons and these tools and everything, what could be used, please comment down below in the video and I will get to those comments and I will answer anything that I may have left out on accident. And I just leveled up. So, anyways, I'm Dig Films. Always hoping you guys are having a good day. Peace out.